Hey guys, back for another one. As you can see, got the old trusty chart in front of me. This one's going to be similar to the one I done a little while ago, but this is another requested video from a gentleman, actually a few people, asking me if you about a few spots to catch flathead land based. I don't do a lot of land based, but I will point out a few spots I know some people go and do catch some fish. All right, and let's get into it. As you can see here, you've got the seaway here, okay? This is the spit along here. Before we get to the broadwater, I'm just going to tell you, tell a lot of guys, along, well, Gold Coast beaches, you've got a lot of, um, can't even think, a lot of gutters. If you go to those gutters just with your normal flathead rod, your six foot, six to seven foot two, little light flathead rods, some soft plastics, and you walk around on the edge of those gutters, cast some plastics in those gutters, all along Gold Coast beaches, wherever you find a gutter, you're going to find flathead. Um, a lot of guys do it. I haven't heard of any monsters in there, but a lot of people do get some nice fish, like 50s and 60s, just walking through those gutters. All these gutters along all these beaches here, cast them plastics. That's a good spot to go start, just for a bit of fun. And it's a bit different, great for the kids too. So don't take the surf beach out of, out of the picture, okay? Surf beach, walking the gutters, plastics, catches good fish, good flooding. Okay, and since we're over here on Sirwall Drive, just here where the ruler is here, that's Royal Seawold, okay? Down here you've got the big marina, in here this is the bay, this is where all the trawlers tie up. You can actually park in Seawold Car Park here, or walk down to this, this little point here. From this point, you can walk along this beach here. There's a big sandbank here, okay? There's a channel through here. Just from this point, just walk along here, there's a deep little channel in there. It's not real wide, you can cast a few soft plastics, even some uh, jerk baits in there. And that's also a good spot to get a few flat eggs. A few flat eggs are on that big bank and as the tide drops, you can nearly cast that bank in some of these spots and work the edges in this deep channel. The bigger the fish will sit in that channel there. Okay? So that's another good one while you're over here thinking about going to the beach. And then from there, we'll go across. Okay. So basically you've got the Gold Coast Highway over this side here now. Okay? You've got Australia Fair here. Australia Fair here. Okay, just here. All right, straight, straight face here. Um, straight across here, you got the swimming enclosure or the kids' big pool. You got a jetty here, a big jetty. This beach along here, I've actually personally caught a few fish, and I know a lot of guys walk along here, straight across from Australia Fair, and off the jetty, cast some plastics, and working around here. Um, don't cast in the swimming enclosure. You know, just cast either side of it. Just yeah, don't go in it, especially if the people are swimming. A bit of common sense. Um, either side of it, but basically I like from the southern side of the closure, right down here to near the Sundale Bridge. You can walk that whole bank casting, working that channel, that, that edge of that channel. That's a good spot for a few flatties as well. Okay. Um, from there we'll go up here, a little bit further. Okay, up here. This is basically, a lot of guys will know this, there's Nev Howard's here, and there's a little bit of a bay here. You've got the new boat ramp just over here. You've got a new boat ramp, that brand new one, Smith Street. Okay. Um, the new boat ramp there. And down just in this bay, oh, get rid of that. You've got that bay there. Off these two points, these are built up sand areas. Like, you've got Nev Howard's, you can, cut, you can park in Nev Howard's car park. And just off this point here, where the new ramp is, along this edge, and off this point here, okay? You can cast a few plastics around, even some twitch uh, jerk baits, because it's quite shallow through here. Along this edge here and off this point. Also a good spot for a few flatty and along here, okay? A lot of people don't fish here, a lot of people bypass that, but you do get some good fish here there at times, guys. As we're getting further up the Old Coast Highway, this is Lotus Creek here. So you've got Lotus Creek, you've got the um, Coast Guard here, right? Uh, big high rise going up and then you've got the boat ramp, Lotus Creek boat ramp just here. That's the, this here's a caravan park. In the back, back of this caravan park here, you can walk these flats here, casting, also a good spot. But the main bit I like is on the other side, on the northern side of Lotus Creek. Through here, this big bank here. This is all broken ground, okay, a lot of weed, uh, sand and mud. You can walk around there at high tide, even low tide and walk out near the channel. 
I work this area. I know there has been some capture, some really big fish through here. This has been a good spot over the years. Okay, this is Big Bank. I don't worry about fish fishing up along the promenade along there where the rocks are. A lot of guys do. I don't worry about it. I fish that Big Bank. Okay, especially have a lot. I like a low water when you walk out and actually work the edge, but high water works there too. Okay, so the northern side of Lotus Creek is very good. We'll get up here a bit further. This is a spot a lot of people bypass and you really shouldn't. Okay, so you've got Way Break here, you've got the Grand Hotel in the corner, you've got the Grand Boat Ramp here, uh, you've got Charis Seafood here, and you've got that swimming enclosure here, the swimming pool, saltwater pool. If you walk along the back edge of that pool, okay, there's a there's a sand bank, you know, you can walk along the back edge of that pool, cast along that, cast out of the channel off that back edge, okay? That's a really good spot too for get a few floaties. It can be quite deep, it drops off fairly quickly, so it's, a, it's definitely a soft plastic spot. Um, usually like quarters to three eighths, depending on the current. But walk along that bank, in the back of the swimming pool casting, you actually get a quite a few fish along there too, surprisingly. And then from there, we actually walk up to, from the pool, you can walk up to roughly where the Gold Coast Highway turns and starts heading, starts heading out. Okay, to about here. So that sandbank along there, like that's fairly shallow sandbank along there, and the back of that swimming enclosure through here, off Charis. That's always a good area, guys. That's that, that is actually a really good area. You do get quite a few fish there. Okay, we'll keep coming down here. Some people fish along this beach here, but I don't worry about that. I like to fish river mouths and points and stuff. Next one here is Bigger Creek. Okay, this is Bigger or Creek here. This is Bayview Towers on the corner. You've got the boat ramp just here. This is a, um, like a workout station and a kid's uh, playground just here off this point. You can actually park your car just here and walk off this point. This point here is actually quite a good flatter ground too. That's quite a shallow bank and you get, do get some nice fish along there. Okay, so it's not a bad spot either, especially just soft plastics. It's quite shallow so you can use a few jerk baits on there as well. Uh, oh, Norton. Okay, go away, Norton. Okay, from there we'll head up. We'll go past Bayview Towers. And this is a spot where you can take kids and dogs, and this is all very good. Basically, you've got Bayview Towers here, right, guys? You've got Bayview Street running up towards Runaway Bay. So, I'm going to zoom out a bit. You know where we are. That's Bayview Towers still. We've got Bayview Street running up. Okay, from Bayview Towers right up. All these banks along here, these main banks, these are all shallow banks, broken grassy banks, shell, everything else, all the way up. You can, from Bayview Street, you can turn right and just go down any of these little side streets and come out to these beaches all along here. There's like a like a couple of miles of just stock. A couple of k's of just broken up beaches in amongst the, the canals. I don't fish off the rocks for the of the canals. Most people do, just chase some brim and things. But for flatheads, so if I drove down here, I'd start at this point and just walk this be this beach here and cast that whole flat. You will find fish. If that doesn't work, get back out in the road, come back over the canals, come down, go to this section, cast along here. If that doesn't work, come out, go down a little bit, go to this section, cast this along here. These sections along here are very good. They're shallow ground, broken weedy, and a great spot to find a few fish. And you're only opposite Crab Island all the way up here, okay? So all that ground through there is great. And as we're getting up here, okay, we'll go past Crab. Uh, you've got the marinas and stuff through here, so all these through here are great too. We'll go past Crab. You can work all these banks, all these, all the way along here, guys. Like I said, from Bayview Towers right up to Paradise Point, all these banks, all the way along. There's so much area you can go cover and walking to uh, chase flooded. And one of my main spots that I, I actually like is I'm going to zoom in. Hang on. Oh, where do I go? Bear with me. Got a bit sidetracked there. Now it's just playing up a bit. Okay, so we're back here at Crab. Okay, we've got Ephraim Island here. There's the bridge. You've got the shops along here. Okay, so. Esplanade here, this road, the Esplanade, along here. You turn off from Bayview. Uh, if 
can scroll in. It doesn't tell you. Okay, oh, you got Errol Ave anyway. Errol Ave is fine. All on Esplanade here, you can car, there's car parks along here. You can park along here anywhere and everywhere. There's a house right in the corner here, but from here upwards, you can see here is a nice big shallow bank. This bank here, you've done very well over the years casting this bank. So you can start here in the corner and work up and work this bank. You can work it at high tide or you can go low tide and work the gutters. Both work very well. I prefer low tide on this bank. I like to walk out over the sand and work the, work the edge. You find a bit more weed and broken ground out wider. There's a lot of flat sandy ground over this at high tide. But you still get occasional, you know, a few small fish in there. But I do find some good fish when the tide's out and you cast it off the edge into that deeper channel along this bank here, guys. That does work very well. Okay. And from there, we'll keep going up. I've never really fished along the banks, say, between the two bridges, the Shovelin Island and Efren, Efren Island. But I have fished up here a bit and done quite well. Get rid of that. As you get, just follow the Esplanade right up to the end. You can come right up here and there's houses being built here, but there's a side street here and there's car parks just near roughly, okay? And there's a walkway, walking around this whole point. You can walk around, a, there's a walkway. But what I do is get to the car park up here somewhere, the car park's here, walk down and this beach here, we can see the shallow bank. From the car park right up, all this bank along here, walk through here casting. Once again, I prefer a low tide for this where I can walk out in the banks and cast out in the edge. It's very weedy, but there's sand patches and stuff all through here and you do find some really nice fish through this, working this channel, okay, through here off this point. And as you get around to about here, then it starts dropping off to the Kuma River, it's quite deep and off here. But from the point there, right around to basically the car park here, that bank, is very good and I like the low water where I can walk out and just cast the edge of the channel out of the deeper water and just work through the, uh, the weed patches. The grass, that does seem to work quite well for me. Okay, I hope this helps the guys that are land based, gives you a few ideas on where to go. Surprisingly, a lot of people just drive past some of the best fishing spots as, you, as I've just shown. One other one I'm gonna show you is quite a good spot. Is you've got Kuma River here, we're going to go, that's, we should be in Coomba Bar Creek here. We are, this is, this is Coomba Bar Creek. Another guy, spot I'm going to show you guys, you've got Oxley Drive, okay? You've got Hansford Road, most people know where Hansford Road is. Come down to Hansford, end of Hansford Road, and I think it's Tarney Street or something. You can drive along, um, turn off. And between Tarney Street, there's like a little boat ramp here. You've got that island there. This is all sand and there's a little channel working through here. I haven't so much walked here, but more kayaks around this and on the outside edge here, caught a lot of flathead, flathead on the kayak. If you swim across this little channel or walk across this channel at low tide and maybe work this edge, got a few, but it's more of a kayak spot. But what I was gonna show you for land base guys, down Hansford Road, just keep going, keep coming down through the city drive there. Okay, and just come right down here. You'll come down and once you cross that bridge, you can turn and park the car, there's car parks just here. Okay, this is a weir, just here. Not so much fishing this weir itself, but the main channel of Coomba Bar, where the, where the uh, you know, enters here. There's a nice little rocky beach, it's, it is rocky. But if you go there at low tide, you can walk out a little bit and cast your lures into the deep channel of Coomba Bar Creek on this point here, walk all, all through here. And that has been a really good spot for a lot of big flathead over the years. Caught, a, caught, caught some crackers through this spot here. Okay, using soft plastics once again. Can't you really use jerk baits? It's fairly deep here. It drops off pretty quick. You're fishing the main channel. But soft plastics at low tide around here is a good spot for a few nice fish. Okay, guys. Um, anyway, I sort of hope that helps you, helps you, uh, helps you in your land-based flathead. Uh, as I said, I don't do a hell of a lot of these. are the spots a few friends have told me about and spots I've fished over the years, mainly years ago, when I first you know, got up here. Um, if people do fish them now, do, do, do quite well at the moment on these spots. And surprisingly, not many people fish them nowadays because the place is getting so busy. Everyone just drives past all these. They just see it and like there's people everywhere. They just keep driving past. Don't drive past all these points and these, okay, and these river, river mouths, like uh, Lotus Creek and stuff here. Go and fish them, have a, have a crack, you'd be surprised. There's quite a few flathead 
And like I said, I like a lot of these banks at low water, so I can actually go down the banks and cast the edges and the deeper channels. I tend to does a bit better for me than high water. Um, and most of them are uh, soft plastic spots. So soft plastics, last couple of hours run out tired, walk out the banks, cast off the edges, working amongst the weed around the river mouth where I showed you. And hopefully guys, you should do all right and get yourself a nice feed, have some fun. Well, I hope that one helps you and I'll see you again in a more few days. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.